Now I'm going to pay homage to my favorite musician of all time, entertainer, uh, Michael Jackson. I love Michael Jackson. He was Michael Jackson fan. I have to listen to his music every day or something, something not right. <laughs> I watch his concerts all the time. And he's the man. Like uh, His album Thriller, I think it's the biggest selling album of all time. It came out the year I was born, 1982. Uh, so I grew up on his music, even as a kid. My parents liked it, so I got into it. And as I got older, I started you know, liking it a lot more, too. Anyhow, uh, when he died on June 25th, 2009, I was sad, 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 really sad. I think the whole world cried whenever Michael Jackson died. Anyways, I don't believe all those charges that were against him with molestation and all that. That's a bunch of fucking bullshit. Michael Jackson would never have touched a kid. I don't care anywhere he says. Anyhow, so I'm going to play Beat It. And uh, obviously, uh, I don't know the solo, and I don't have a whammy bar. So, uh, yeah. So it's Eddie Van Halen doing the solo, so I'm presuming it's him doing the riffs. He always seems to get the hottest guitar player at the time to do his songs. Like when he did Black or White, he got Slash. Slash was popular. He was at, you know, his mo his peak right there with Guns N' Roses, so he got Slash. Uh, makes you wonder if Randy Rhodes would have lived. Maybe he would have got Randy Rhodes for this song. I don't know. But everybody, you know, Eddie Van Halen.
Okay, I gotta admit something. I am a huge Michael Jackson fan, I'll admit that, totally. But I actually just learned that guitar riff right now. And that too, I just I just typed it in on YouTube. and Because and, I used to play it before, but I used to do something like... But it didn't sound right. So it, it had a note there missing, so, it was like, so now it's... I messed it up all the hell, but whatever. MJ would forgive me. <laughs> it's all good.